In this video, I will show you how to set up my custom mobile media player. This card is based on button card by Wrong Rider, so please make sure you install it if you follow along. If you want the full code for this card, you can find the link in the description. Before I created this card, I was using a media player card from Haa Casa by Damien Eickhoff. But when I switched to Nachbar card, it didn't look good anymore with the new navigation, so I tried to find some inspiration for a new card. I liked how clean the integration looked in the Google Home app, so I set out to recreate it. Here you can see the final result. However, we will start from scratch and set up the card together. Let's start by adding a new card to the dashboard. Here we take button card. We will start by creating the blurry background that is done using the entity picture. The first thing we add is the media player entity. We set it to show the entity picture and hide the name and we set the tab action to more info so we can interact with our media player. After that we style the card. The card only has one grid area called info. In this area we will add another button card to show all the necessary information. Then we style the card. We give it a background color to create some contrast and set padding to zero so the picture can take on the whole card. For now we set position to static, but we will come back later to change this to fixed. Everything underneath doesn't really do anything right now, but will come into effect when we change the position. Bottom we set to 90 pixel as this is how far the card will be from the bottom of the screen. We set the Z index to 2, so it is on top of other cards on the dashboard. We also add a box shadow to create some separation to the cards underneath. You can use a website to create this code and copy it in. Now we style the icon. We set the IMG sales position to absolute and set the width of the icon to 150%. The opacity we set to a lower percentage. I am using a theme variable here, but you can use a percentage instead. Then we add the blur effect. We have to add different filters so it works with different browsers, but ultimately they all do the same. And that's it for the blurry background for now. We will come back to it later. Let's work on our info card. We add another button card to the custom field and add the entity. Here we are using a bit of JavaScript to reference the entity we set at the top instead of setting the entity again. Like this, we only have to change the entity at the top. I made a mistake here, but I will correct it in a second. We set the settings of the card and then add name and label. Here we are using JavaScript again to reference the media artist and media title attributes of the entity. The grid areas of these cards are a bit more complex. We basically have three columns. The first column contains the picture, the second one has the state, label and name, and the last one has a button. Then we begin styling the icon. The styling of the picture is pretty straightforward. I set a size and border radius, but I realized that the card is not showing the entity picture, so I correct my mistake from before. Same goes for the card. We set some basic padding and set the background to none. Now we can also see our blurry background again. After that we style our text. For all of them, we set justify self to start, so they start from the left. We set font size, color, and for the label we send a font weight to make it a bit more bold. After that, we can already add the styling for our button, as it's very simple. Now we add the custom field button. In the custom field sections, we add another card. This is also a button card, and we add the same JavaScript code as for the other one. We set the icon to MDI play and show name to false. For the tab action, we add a call service action, and as the target, we use the JavaScript code. Again, this is so that the whole card just references one entity that you have to change when you want to use this card. Then we style the card. We set a background color, border radius, and width and height. And we also style the icon to match. At the bottom, we add state and set the value to playing. Here we can change the icon to MDI pause. So when the media player is playing, it shows the pause icon instead of the play icon. The card is almost ready. The only thing missing is our progress bar. This is a bit more complex, so I will copy in the code and explain a little bit what it does. Basically, we create two more custom fields on the first card, the one that has the blurry background. These are called bar and progress. The progress one just checks if the attribute media position is defined and then returns a blank space so we can style the card. The bar card looks at the media position and media duration attributes and calculates a percentage. This is then transfers to the width of the card. To make them fit into the rest of our card, we have to add the styling to the top. Here we add our custom field styling. We set a background color and the position to absolute. This is so we can place the two bars on top of each other. It is important that we set the Z index of the bar to 1. To make it look a bit better, we also add a transition. 
Now our card is basically ready, but we still have to do a few things to add them to your dashboard. For this, I will copy the whole code of the card and then save and add a new card to the dashboard. This time we add a conditional card. Here we add an OR condition and inside the OR condition we add two state conditions for media player music. One for playing and one for paused. These are the two states we want the card to show up. Inside the card tab we add the button card and then we copy the code we just created. Now we have to change three things. First we change the width of the first card to a calculation. We take the screen width and subtract 20 pixel. We copy this code to the second card as well, so they are the same size. Then we set the position from the first card to fixed. As you can see, the card is now fixed at the bottom. And that's it! Your new mobile media player is ready to use. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, you can find the link to the full code in the description. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. I have other videos where I create more custom cards, show off cool Hux cards, or a tour of my personal dashboard. Thanks for watching, and until next time!